In this video, I will explain how to set up the CX350 for SRT streaming, specifically client or caller mode. SRT stands for Secure Reliable Transport. SRT is an open source video transport protocol that optimizes video streaming performance across unmanaged networks, such as the internet. In addition, SRT also supports encryption using AES so the streaming can be secure. In the case of client mode, the camera pushes SRT streaming to the receiver, so the camera needs to know the IP address and port number of the receiver. As you can see in the diagram in this video, I set up the camera to push the SRT streaming to the receiver via the internet. The IP address 100.100.100 .35 and the port number 50,000 are examples. Just as a side note, in this configuration, I set port forwarding on the destination size router. More specifically, the router and the destination network forwards the streaming that comes to port 5000 to the receiver, which has a private IP address in the destination network. The first step is configuring the network setting. CX350 supports a variety of connection types. In this video, I will show you how to set up with an Ethernet cable. Please watch my other videos for other connection types. Connect an Ethernet cable to the camera. Open Menu, Network, Device Select, and select LAN. LAN Property, IPv4 Setting. With DHCP Client, the network automatically signs an IP address to the camera, and this is an easy way to configure the IP address. When you close Menu, you should be able to see the wired connection icon on the top right of the screen. As I said, DHCP allows the network to assign an IP address to the camera automatically. Let's check it. As you can see, the IP address 192.168.1.177 was assigned to the camera. The next step is the SRT setting. Open menu, network, network function, Select Streaming. Then go to Streaming and set the Streaming Protocol to SRT Client. You can select a streaming format from a variety of choices. In this video, I chose 1080 14 Mbps. SRT Setting. With Client Mode, the camera pushes the streaming to the receiver, so you need to set the destination URL. The URL rule for SRT is SRT colon slash slash destination IP address colon destination port number. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, SRT supports AES encryption. You can enable it here. You need to input a passphrase in order to decrypt the streaming. The same passphrase needs to be set in the receiver as well. When you close menu, you should be able to see the streaming icon on the top right of the screen. As I just showed, you can set up the URL manually. Alternatively, you can also use the P2 network setting software. Please download the software from our PASS website. Click Software Download, then Viewer Driver Application Plugin Utility Software. From there, download the P2 Network Setting software. The software is Windows only. Open the downloaded zip file. You'll find the p 2 netgen 3exe file. Open that. Select the Streaming tab and then the SRT tab. Type the destination's URL, then click on AES 
256 and type in the encryption passphrase. Then hit export. The data is saved onto the SD card in the PC. Remove the SD card from the PC and insert it into the camera. Under Streaming menu, select Load SD Card. If you go to SRT setting, you can confirm that the destination URL and encryption that you set with the software is loaded into the camera. This software is especially useful if the URL is a domain name instead of a numerical IP address. In the case of a domain name, the URL rule for the SRT is the same. SRT colon slash slash domain name colon port number. This next step is optional. While it's not necessary, it might be useful to assign the streaming start function to a user switch. Open Menu, Camera, User SW, then assign the streaming start function. In this video, I assign it to user 6, which is located on the camera's hand grip. Lastly, let's push the SRT streaming to the internet. The left side of the screen shows the SDI out from the CX350, and the right side shows the SRT streaming. As you can see, the SRT is slightly delayed from the SDI out. That's expected, but it's still pretty stable. Remember, I set the bitrate to 14 mega BPS. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check the other videos for CX350's different streaming capabilities.